Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another whiskey review here on Sanctorum of Spirits. My name is Sam Nash Green. I am at Scribe of Spirits. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, most every social media platform. I might even have a MySpace. I don't know anymore. Today we're talking about Austin 101 Light Whiskey. It's not like most of the other stuff we talk about on here, which is regularly distilled whiskey. This is steam distilled. Now, first of all, I'm sure you're wondering, well, Sam, what in the hell is light whiskey? It's whiskey, but it's light? Like, is that, you know, diet whiskey? No, it's not like, you know, light diet soda or, you know, beater light. Light whiskey is actually whiskey. It's just distilled higher than 160, which is the usual distillation proof for whiskey, at least for bourbon. Remember, bourbon is usually distilled to around 160 proof, no higher than that. And this is then distilled lower than 190 proof. And it's aged in uh, used barrels. So in Austin 101's case, they say we use recycled oak barrels. So basically, they use X bourbon barrels to age their whiskey for 101 days. Now, in the comments below, before I go any further, let me know what you think the logo is. It's a really neat looking logo. I see 101. I see a glass with ice in it. I see a couple of different things. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you think this logo actually looks like. A big thank you to the folks at Austin 101 for providing us this bottle as a media sample to review. So we're going to talk about this and taste it right now. So, I don't like to add water to this, although you easily could. There's nothing wrong with adding water. All you're going to do is just take down the proof and open it up a little bit. So if you really just let it sit especially too and let this get some air because it is 101 proof. And we're going to treat it similarly to regular whiskey. But remember, this is not regular whiskey. This is light whiskey. So it's kind of, I want to say it's a little more delicate. So Austin 101 actually uses steam distillation. Now I don't exactly remember how that works. I think they went over that with me. But it's not something you see or hear talked about in that manner very often. So remember with distillation, you're boiling everything. So I guess you're going to boil water and use the steam to distill in the column? I'm not entirely certain. So remember, Austin 101, it's actually only distilled or distributed in Texas. So we're extra grateful they sent us this bottle to taste and try. So... We're going to give it a nose, and then we'll give it a taste, and we'll tell you what we smell and taste. It's actually really light, really fruity. Kind of like a little, like a little bit of a fruit medley. And there's some of that sweetness. It has lots and lots and lots of vanilla, which I'm not surprised at because I know they're using expert in barrels. And in the Texas heat, you know, even though it's not brand new charred oak, you're using X bourbon and that'll have all that corn goodness that'll have seeped into the barrel. So basically, you're actually basically mixing a little bit of bourbon into it, quote unquote, when you're maturing this. 101 days in the Texas heat is still a long time. I mean, considering the color on this for 101, this is a clear bottle, by the way, guys. So this is a nice, you know, amber honey kind of color onto the palette. It's really fruity. Kind of botanic, actually, which is interesting. Kind of like a juniper. Citrus, lemon peel, grapefruit. This is like if a gin were a whiskey, kind of. And I like that. It's interesting, you know. This is not something you see every day and expect to drink. You know, it's very good and it's easily a daily drinker. Easily a daily sipper for someone who really likes this kind of lighter, more floral, more fruity kind of whiskey. For me... 
I prefer, you know, cask strength, either bourbon or scotch, or something in a sherry cask. So this would not be a daily drinker, but it's still a solid pour. Kind of bubblegummy too, actually. Huh. Alright guys, that is Austin 101 Light Whiskey. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.